Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a like chilled out video where I'm showing you um, my favourite cruelty free makeup products and I'm also going to be putting on a face mask just for a bit of fun and my hair is wet as well by the way so that's why it looks a bit dodge. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just going to put this face mask on and then get right into the video. Okay, so the first product that I'm going to be showing you is this Wet n Wild palette and it is the Eau Naturelle palette and it says that it's 754A Nude Awakening. So these are the colours that come in the palette and it has like five matte shades and then quite a few shimmery shades. And um, I really like this palette because it kind of varies like from the light and like really neutral tones and then it has these like really deep tones at the end like the almost bluey black and then like the deep like berry tones and yeah this is just a really nice palette and I use it quite often to do like all different kinds of neutral um, eye looks. So the second thing that I'm going to be showing you guys is my Naked Urban Decay Basic. So I'm not having much luck with this video because my parents are like switching things around downstairs and they're like making loads of noise and they keep like banging hammers on stuff. I don't know what they're doing. They're like painting and doing stuff. <laughs> I actually have no idea what they're doing, but yeah. Um, so I have to wait for them to stop making all that noise, which was like 10 minutes. And then by the time I was just ready to film the next clip, then my timer went off to take off my face mask. So I'm now face maskless, but I'm just gonna keep going and show you the rest of the products. So the next product that I'm gonna show you guys is my Naked Basics palette. And I've had this palette for ages, um, probably like a couple of years now. And it's a really, really nice palette for everyday looks. Like, I probably use this palette every single day. Especially when I had my natural hair colour because I used the like dark brown shade for my eyebrows. But I try and fill them in a bit lighter now because my hair's blonde so they don't like stand out as much. But yeah, I just really, really like this palette. All the shades are matte and that is really good because like you've got kind of like a gradient of like different shades and tones which you can use in like all different makeup looks. So it's a really good like 
palette to have that you can like because it's quite hard to find matte eyeshadow colours because most of the colours are shimmery really or have like a tiny bit of shimmer but these there's only there is actually one shimmer and that's like the lightest one but other than that they are all matte and they last for a long time I noticed the difference between using these um, eyeshadows to other brands because these just last a lot longer and they don't crease as much. So yeah, that is the second item. And the next thing I'm going to show you is this So Suzanne Universal Blush. And this is actually a really cool product. It's a blusher which looks like this. But it comes out different on everyone's skin tone. It's one of those that kind of reacts with like... I don't know what it reacts with, maybe like the heat on your face and it kind of creates a colour so it'll be like different with everyone's skin colour and stuff so it's more of like, I think it um, like is designed to try and like complement your skin tone so yeah I love this product and it's quite a cool brand as well, I have a mascara from this brand as well and I think all of their products are cruelty free, which is really good. So yeah, that is the third product. The next thing I'm going to show you is this mascara. And it is the Feature Length Mascara by Barry M. And it has such a nice, like, I don't know what you would call this, such a nice, like, mascara holder. Like, it's really like pretty, I like the design, it feels really nice in your hand as well because it's really like, feels quite heavy. Um, and this mascara is honestly the best mascara that I've ever had in like the way that it stays on, like it does not come off, which is a good thing but it can be annoying when you're trying to remove it, like I have to use like argan oil to kind of like get it off because like the oil helps break it down but if you want a long lasting kind of waterproof mascara then this is the mascara for you and yeah overall I'm really impressed with it, it makes my eyelashes look really long and yeah I would definitely be repurchasing this or trying different Barry M mascaras because I've just had a really good um, impression of them so far. So this is also a Barry M product and all Barry M products are cruelty free which is amazing and um, this is the Flawless Light Reflecting Concealer and I would say that it pretty much is exactly what it says, it makes your skin look really like, it kind of, I feel like it kind of blurs you out in a way like it's really, um, it's, it's quite moisturising as well and that's what I really like in concealers because I hate concealers which are like cloggy and thick and horrible, that's why I always use liquid concealers and not like stick concealers because I find them to be really like nice, they give you like a nice glow because so I don't like my skin completely matte, I like it to have a bit of like shine and kind of dewiness so I really really like this mascara, it has good coverage it's, it is light reflecting, like under your eyes it really helps with dark circles. Um, yeah, and I just really like it, I really recommend it. Um, and I have this in, I can't remember what colour, but I think it was like the olive toned one, but the light one. So, because I always get olive toned concealers, probably doesn't look like it in this lighting, makes me look really pale, but I do actually have quite um, olive skin. The next product is a lip product and it is this Kiko Exotic Shine Lipstick and this is a really 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 nice colour. It's like a it's like a really nice red, like the classic red colour but the lipstick is so like moisturising and you don't even need to put like a lip balm on before you put this on because it's just got so much like moisture in the um, like lipstick already so I just use this when I'm like I use it as kind of like a daytime red because it has like a bit more shine and it's a bit more like natural rather than like a full on like matte like deep red colour so I just really really like this 
and I really recommend it. And the last thing that I have to show you is my favourite eyeliner and this is the Barry M Black Waterproof Precision Liner and it's one of the pen liners. Mine is really really run out so I really need to get a new one. But out of all the eyeliners I've tried, I would genuinely say that this is my favourite because it's so easy to apply and get like really thin wings because I like doing quite thin wings most of the time, like kind of like Egyptian style eyeliner, like going all the way in and then like having like long thin flicks. And I just find this like is a really, really good eyeliner. Like you can do whatever you want. Like you can make it as thick as you want. Um, it's really, really easy because liquid eyeliner is quite hard to apply sometimes. But I've been doing eyeliner for quite a few years, so I think I'm quite good at it now. But if you find it hard to use eyeliner, then I'd really recommend this. Like to get like a really precise flick. So yeah, this is just like a really good eyeliner if you're not that confident with doing eyeliner but you really want to give it a go and find like what look you like. So that is all of the things that I wanted to show you guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions or any suggestions of cruelty free like makeup items that I should try. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!